All right, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody's Monday is going good so far. Um, today, uh, this class, the noon class, is going to be focusing on the youth beginner students, white through orange belts. Um, however, just because we're focusing on those youth students, that doesn't mean that anybody can't join along. Um, everybody needs to work on their basics, um, so that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, before we get started, we're going to start off with a quick warm up. Um, so, jump jacks. Good, and arms goes forward. And backwards. And cross your body. Good, and feet apart, leaning down, trying to get our elbows down to the floor, making sure our legs are straight. And up. And back down. And up. And lean over towards our left. Switch to our right. And front stance to our left. Make sure our front knee is over our toe, back leg is straight, both toes are pointed forward. We should have a nice wide stance, feet should be shoulder width apart. And switch. Same thing, other way. And center splits. And splits towards our left. And to our right. And back to center. And feet together. Reach down, grab our toes. And up. And back down. And up. All right, so like I mentioned, today we're going to be focusing on all of the basic blocks and punches uh, needed for those uh, youth students testing for yellow, orange, or blue. Uh, today we're going to be working pretty much all from our front stance. So a couple of key points, as I was mentioning in the warm-ups, make sure that front knee is all the way over our toe, back leg is straight, don't let that back knee bend, okay? You should have both toes pointed in the direction we're going as much as possible. That back foot might be at a 45 degree angle. Try not to point it at a 90 degree or even worse behind us. Make sure it's pointing in the direction we're going, okay? Our stance should be shoulder width apart. Common mistake I see is students have too narrow of a stance. It's a lot harder to move and you're a lot um, more unstable, okay? So make sure, student, you have that wide stance, shoulder width apart, all right? So we're gonna start off uh, with some punches. As we're punching, I want you guys to be focusing on a couple of things. First, we should be punching our own chest level, okay? We're using the first two knuckles, okay? Not the palm of our hand, not the back of our hand, first two knuckles of our fist. 
make sure that thumb is nice and tight tucked behind our fingers. Second thing I want you guys to focus on is rubbing our elbows on the side of our body as we're punching. Okay, we want to punch straight. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. We want to go straight into the target, not around. As soon as we let those elbows come out from our sides, we're punching around. We're not going as fast as we can. Okay, so I'm going to be going back and forth this way. As long as you guys have room to go about one or two steps, that's about all we're going to be going today. So right from there, going, us, and go left leg forward, down block. Make sure as we wind up, elbow is all the way to, our elbows are together, this is wind up all the way to our ear. Left leg forward, down block. Okay, yeah. Take a quick second, check your front stance. Make sure it's nice and good. All right. I should have room for about two steps going forward. As we're going forward, make sure feet should come in, should come in, and then go out. You should be making a half circle with your feet. Step you forward, uh, lunge punch, nice and slow. We're focusing on rubbing the elbows on the side of our body. Each knee, stepping back. Each me or again, each me and stepping back one more time, each me. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna speed it up a little bit. Okay, feet and hands should be doing the same thing. We're still focusing on rubbing our elbows on the side of our body. Okay, as we're stepping back. Make sure we're leading with our shoulders, not with our butt. Don't lean, lean at the hips. Keep that back straight as we're stepping back. It's a little bit faster, so focusing on technique. Ready? Each. Me. Clunk. Shoot. Go. Broke. Teach. On to our rising block. A couple of points on our rising block. Wind up should be eye level with our fingers together. Don't let our fingers come apart like this. You're going to end up breaking one of your fingers if, if you're actually uh, blocking something with that. So make sure those fingers are together. That blocking hand, that fist should come across to our opposite shoulder and then go above our head. A lot of people make the mistake of bringing it across their stomach to their opposite hip and then lifting. It's got to come across at an angle and then go above. Okay, the same thing. The left leg forward, down block. Kip, step. Stepping forward, rising block. Nice and slow to start. Focus on the technique. Focus on making sure that it, blocking hand comes across the, at an angle. Each, two, knee, two, sun, two, she, two, go, two, rope, two. Stepping back, same thing. Each, two, knee, two. Good. All right, I want to speed it up. All right, make sure as we're focusing on our hands, don't be losing our feet. We should still be making that half circle. Have that knee over our toe, back leg straight. Okay, so speeding it up a little bit. Correct technique first. Can't go fast because you're focusing on technique. That's okay. Go as fast as your brain and body will allow while still having the correct technique. Going forward, rising block. Each, two, three, two, some, two, three, two, go, two, rope, two, each, two, punch, two, and yummy, and Nante, 
Okay. All right, before we move on to the next block, I want to bring up another column stick I see of people's front stances as they're moving forward or backwards. Watch my front foot. I'm moving forward, so my front foot shouldn't be moving. But what I see out of a lot of students is they step back just a little bit with that front foot before stepping forward. So they end up double stepping. As we're moving, only one foot should be moving at a time. So if we're going forward, only the back leg should move. That front foot should be glued to the floor the entire time. Same thing going back. Don't bring that back foot up before stepping back. Okay, just step back with that front foot. All right, moving on to stomach block. So a rising block is punching, or is blocking a punch that's coming to our face, jodan level. Stomach block is blocking a punch coming to our stomach, or chudan level, okay? Stomach block is coming from the outside in. So the wind up for stomach block, one hand out there just like a punch, chest, uh, chest level. The blocking hand is fist up at our ear with our palm facing forward and our elbow should be pointed to the side or even better, behind us. It means we're gonna get more leverage on our block, okay? The pulling hand just comes back to our belt straight, still focusing on rubbing the elbow on the side of our body. The blocking hand, has to come around and block in front of us, okay? Don't drop that elbow first and then come around. That ends up being a short block. You're not gonna block a whole lot. You wanna block around big. Any position, fist and shoulder height, elbow is about one fist in front of our body. Like that. So, right from there, good. This left leg forward, down block, left big wind up, elbows together. Going forward, stomach block, nice and slow, focus on the technique, make sure it's nice, big, around block. Ready, each, me, see, sun, see, she, see, Going forward, same thing, a little bit faster. Still working on technique though. Don't go too fast, the technique ends up looking like that. Make sure we still have proper technique. Then speed it up as much as you can while keeping that correct technique. Ready? Each. Me. Si. Sun. Si. She. Si. Go. Si. Go. Si. Teach. Si. Touch. Si. And yummy. And now okay. Good. Grab a drink of water real quick. If you need to. Now we're gonna move on to down block, okay? Just like as we're getting into our stance, our down block, elbows together, fists wound up all the way to our ear. The one hand, the pulling hand is wound up just like a little punch, okay? The blocking hand, travels down that pulling hand and swaps positions. Pulling hand just comes back to our hip, still rubbing the elbow on the side of our body. Just like that, okay? So, good. First, left leg forward, down block. Okay, see ya. Going forward, slow, down block. Focus on bringing those elbows together. As soon as you don't bring those elbows together, 
you leave yourself open to attack. So make sure those elbows are together so you can block an attack coming to your um, to coming to your midsection while you're winding up. Going forward, down block. She. Go. Look. Teach. Touch. Good. Quick check in. Make sure your front stance is correct. Shoulder width apart. Front knee over your toe. Your down block should end up just above your front knee. Good. Going forward. Same thing. Down block. A little bit faster. Still working on technique though. And so those are all the basic um, hand techniques, punches and blocks needed for both white testing for yellow and yellow testing for orange. A couple others that are needed for orange belts testing for blue, we're gonna go over right now. So the first one is triple punch. So just like our lunge punch, first punch, for all our punches, we're gonna punch chew down level, the same spot, okay? And just like our lunge punch, our foot and our hand should land at the same time for the first punch. Then all we have to do is add on two punches after that without moving our feet. Our back hand's gonna punch, and I'll punch one more time. So you have the same hand, same leg out there, okay? Well, the cadence is the important thing here, okay? So it's one, two, three. The second and third punch are a lot faster, a lot quicker than the first one a lot quicker together, okay? All three punches should be fast, but there's a slight pause after the first punch, okay? So it's one, slight pause, two, three. Make sure common mistakes on this is punching short. So as we punch, usually the first one's pretty good. That second one ends up punching short because their students are trying to go really fast they just bring the third punch out. So make sure that second and third punch are the same distance. If you're not sure if you're punching that second punch long, go up against the wall, okay? Or a, um, a pad or the couch, okay? Something where you can measure your distance and punch. Just be careful, especially if you're punching against the wall. You don't want to be hurting yourself, okay? So I recommend having somebody hold a pillow or something in front of them that you can test against. So right from there, Bye. Oops. So left leg forward, down block. Kid, see Going forward, triple punch of our cadences. One, two, two. Ready? Each, and then the same thing, a little bit quicker, same cadence though. Just because you're stuck, let's get it up. Doesn't mean you can't, you shouldn't have that small light pause in between the first and second punch. Make sure that pause is still there. Ready? Each. And I'll say, good. Again, that is for orange belts, testing for blue belt level. I have also two additional blocks. The first block 
is inside out block. Okay, so it ends up in the same position as our stomach block, but it comes from a different direction. Okay, stomach block is coming from the outside, inside block coming from the inside. A couple of important points on our inside out block. Pulling hand is winding up just the same, just out in front of us, like a punch to our chest level. Walking hand is coming underneath our armpit, winding up. Make sure we're not hugging ourselves on that wind up. That pulling hand should be out straight, okay? As we block, that blocking hand should come around the outside of our pulling hand on the outside. It should be nice and big. As soon as you come on the inside, you end up with a really short block. It looks more like a flip than around. So make sure that pulling hand or that blocking hand comes around our pulling hand. So right from there, go ahead. Your left leg forward down block. Kick. Stepping forward, inside out block, big, nice and slow. Take a look, or take a moment, look at our front stance. So front knee over our toe, back leg straight, both toes pointed forward. Good. Going forward, inside out block, nice and slow, focusing on technique. Each, sit, knee, sit, sun, sit. She, sit, go, sit, rock, sit, 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 punch, sit. And we do the same thing, but we're speeded up. Again, still focusing on technique. Make sure that pulling hand, elbow should be rubbing our sides, blocking hand, going around the outside of our pulling hand. Again, we're ending up fist, shoulder height, elbow one fist in front of our body. So going forward, inside out block. Itch, sit, knee, sit, sun, sit, she, sit, go, sit, hook, sit, ditch, sit, hatch, sit, and you and I'll say, those are all the techniques from front stance. Those orange belts testing for blue have an additional technique from our back stance. Okay, so a couple of differences between front stance and back stance. Our front stance, remember, our feet are shoulder width apart. Both feet are pointed as much as possible in the direction we're going. That front knee is over our front toe, our back leg is straight, okay? For our back stance, our feet are in line, one line, okay? Our front toes are pointed the direction we're going, our back toes are pointed at a 90 degree angle, so it's directly to our right from the direction we're going. All of our weight is on our back knee, so our back knee is bent. Knee should be over our toes. Front leg should be mostly straight, but unlocked. There's only a small difference. That's locked. That is straight, okay? It's the difference between my knee is locked, okay? As I push off, I'm gonna push up, okay? Whereas my, if my front knee is straight, but unlocked, okay? That means it's slightly bent, okay? As I push forward, my knee can bend and I can stay the same height, okay? Remember, we want to stay at the same height. We don't want to come up and then down, okay? So as we're moving forward, we want to bring our feet together, step straight out, bring your feet together, step straight out, and then at the last second, turn into our back stance, okay? We're gonna do a knife hand block with our back stance. Wind up is just the same as our down block, but instead of fists, 
our hands are open, okay? Open just like our rising black wind up, which means our fingers are together, not apart like this, okay? Elbows are still together. Blocking hand is winding up all the way to our ear on our block. We come around. Our fingertips should end up shoulder height, fist about our elbow, about one fist in front of our body. Pulling hand, it's not coming all the way back to our hip this time, going back right about to our belly button. Okay. Uh, hand is flat, palm open. You should be able to hold a cup of water right here. Okay. So make sure we're not curved with our fingers. Okay. We're just kind of laying that hand. Um, sag at the bottom should be nice and straight. Think like you're holding a cup of water right here. That'll have your hand in the correct position. Okay. We're gonna give it a good try. Okay. Go we'll left leg forward, back stance, knife hand block. Each sit. Take a moment. Look at your back stance. Are your feet in line? Are your front toes pointed forward. Back toes pointed to the side. Okay. Our block correct. Front hand should be just like a stomach block while that hand is open and wrist turned out. We're dealing with the side of our hand right here. Okay. Back hand is right on our stomach, flat, just like we should be able to hold a cup of water. Good. All right. We're going to go forward, back stance, knife hand block. And as we're going forward, Roll over that front knee, okay? Try and stay the same height, nice and slow. Each, two, knee, two. Stepping back, same thing. Each, and two. All right, one quick point on stepping back, okay? Don't think about stepping back with that front foot, okay? Try and pull that foot back and step straight out behind us and back stance. Good. So, she, go, rook, skip. Good. Same thing, a little bit faster. Only as fast as you can while keeping the correct technique. You need to go the same speed, that's fine. Each, Those are all of the basic blocks and punches needed for white belts all the way through orange belts testing for blue. Just grab a quick drink of water. The last thing that we're going to work, is, work on today is our front snap kick. Okay, this is for all levels of. Well, it's for all levels, youth and adult, but especially all youth students, um, white through blue, are really looking on that front snap kick. Okay, a couple of important things about that front snap kick is our ankle position. Make sure as we're kicking, our toes are pulled back, ankle is extended, okay? The second most important thing is our knee height. Okay, as high as your knee goes, that's as high as the kick is gonna go. So if I only bring my knee up this high, my leg can't kick higher than that. Okay, so if I wanna kick higher, gotta bring that knee up higher so I can kick higher. Wherever your knee's pointed, that's where your kick's gonna go. Okay, we're gonna do just a couple of drills to focus on that, um, bringing that knee up. Okay, so I want you guys to start in our front stance, left leg forward or right leg forward, don't care. We're gonna switch to do both sides, okay? Right from here, we're gonna work on bringing that knee up as fast as we can. 
Don't worry about the kick. We're not gonna kick right now. Don't worry about our hands. You can have them to the side of you. You can have them up in front of you. I don't really care. We're just focusing on that back leg. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that back foot. First thing you should be doing is trying to kick yourself in the butt. Okay, then you're gonna bring that knee up in front of you as fast as you can and as high as you can, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that 10 times each side and then we'll start here and then we'll kick. Right from here, ready, itch, and back down, and back down. As we're coming up, make sure that supporting leg, we're not coming up on that supporting leg, you're gonna lose your balance. So make sure that front knee stays a little bit bent. Sun, back down, sheet, back down, go, back down, Rook. back down, sheet, back down, arch, back down, coot, back down, last one, shoot, and back down. Good, and switch legs. Same thing with the other leg. Make sure you try and kick yourself in the butt first and then bring that knee up in front of us, okay? Not kicking just yet. Keeping that supporting leg bent the entire time. Back down, meet. Back down, turn. Back down, shoot. Back down. Go back down, hook back down, sit back, back down, punch it back down, coot back down, last one, shoot and back down. Good, and you may now we're gonna add in the kick this time. A lot of times what I see is the kick might end up okay, but then that's the pullback, that's the snapback. You either they drop the foot, okay? Or it sweeps back down. Make sure after the kick, you should snap back and then step forward. So this time we're gonna add in the kick and I want you to hold on the pullback. Now we're gonna step down. We're only gonna do five of these. Ready? Each. Back down. Back down. Sun. Back down. Sheep. Back down. Last one. Go. And back down. Good. Switch legs. Same thing with our right. Ready? Pitch. Back down. Knee. Back down. Sun. Back down. Shoot. Back down. Last one. Go. Back down. Good. All right, now we're going to put everything together. The entire kick, front snap kick, step back, okay? So after you bring that foot back here, push back as fast as we can into our front stance. You should be slamming that leg down on the ground. Good, just five of them. Ready? Each. Me. Sun. She. Good, and switch legs. Each. Me. Sun. She. Go. And yummy. And now today. All right, those are all the basic key home techniques needed for white through orange belts testing for blue. 
In addition to our kion, we also have the kata. Taikyoku shodan, our yellow belts testing for orange, and hand shodan for orange youth testing for blue. These are all for youth. Taikyoku shodan is for adult white belts testing for yellow, and hand shodan is for adults yellow belts testing for orange. All right, we'll go over that next week. So right from here, before we finish, we're gonna do a couple of um, couple of punches to end the class. So right from here, I want you guys to go right leg out into our kibidachi stance. Remember, kibidachi stance, our knees are apart, both feet are pointing in the direction we're going. And right from here, I want your left hand out. 10 punches as hard as you can, as fast as you can. Remember, we're rubbing our elbows on the side of our body. Ready? Me two, two. Me two. Song two. She two. Go two. Go two. She two. Touch two. Go two. Two two. Gonna add five more for the dojo. Ready? Me two. Me two. Song two. She two. Go two. And I'm like. And I'm saying. All right. Don't forget, in May, we switched up the schedule just a little bit. Okay, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. It was previously 5 p.m. We're switching it back to 6 p.m. now. You can catch us right here on Zoom. Have a good week, guys. Well, bye. Thank you. Bye.